Hi friends, this is the reading lesson for second grade. You need your booklets open to page 30. You need a pencil and you also need a highlighter. We are going to read the first half of a story called Lost in the Desert. And if you look at the pictures on pages 30 and 31, you will quickly notice that these pictures look much different than the pictures we've seen in the stories that we've read in this unit so far. We've been reading a lot of nonfiction informational text, and you can tell that these pictures are not photographs like we have been looking at, but rather drawings because this is a fiction story. Okay, as we read, I'm going to have um, it read to you, but I want you to practice highlighting the key events on your own. So we're gonna read a few paragraphs at a time, and then I will pause and I will let you highlight anything that you find to be important. Now remember, when you are highlighting, you're not going to highlight every single thing that happens. You want to be highlighting things about what the characters are doing, maybe where they are, the setting, um, anything that might be important about our character named Kara and her cat named Fred. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Extended Read 2. Remember to annotate as you read. Lost in the Desert by Thea Feldman. Kara looked out the car window. She saw a lot of brown earth. She saw many cactuses and some grass. She saw the blue sky and the empty road. She did not see much else. Where are we again? She asked her parents. Her mom showed Kara the map. We're in the Sonoran Desert in Arizona, on our way to see the organ pipe cactuses in bloom. Oh, yeah, said Kara as the car slowed to a stop. The Sonoran Desert or in Fred's case, the snoring desert. Kara looked over at the family cat, napping on the seat next to her. Looks like he'll sleep through the entire vacation, said Kara. Ka okay, so let's stop there. I want you to go back into paragraphs one, two, and three, and I want you to highlight anything that you think is important. We met some characters and we learned where they are and what they are doing. So go ahead and highlight the important key events in paragraphs one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna highlight what I think is important. But if you did not highlight this exactly, that's totally fine, you can add it. But if you highlight it a little bit more or something different, that's also fine. So. We learned that they are in the Sonoran des Desert in Arizona, and they are going to see the pi Oregon pipe cactuses in bloom. So that kind of tells us like why they're on this trip. Um, you can also highlight what she sees outside. She sees brown earth, cactuses, some grass, blue sky, and an empty road. That's kind of like the habitat of a desert, right? And we also meet Kara's family cat named Fred. Okay. And I will tell you a little hint right now. He becomes a very main character in our story. Let's keep reading. Paragraph four. Kara and her parents got out of the air-conditioned car. They saw many tall cactuses with big flowers. I'm glad we came early, before it gets even hotter, said Kara's mother. It's sure to be another 100-degree day. She opened the car door to grab her camera. And I doubt it will rain. Like all deserts, the Sonoran Desert gets less than 10 inches of rain a year. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple minutes before we turn the page. Why don't you go ahead and highlight anything you find to be important in paragraphs four and five. Pause the video and highlight four and five. Okay, so we learn that they get out of the car, right? To take some pictures. And they saw tall cactuses with big flowers, part of the habitat. And we also learn that it is probably going to be another 100 degree day. And then she says, like all deserts, the Sonoran Desert gets less than 10 inches of rain a year. So that's telling us a little bit about our habitat of the desert. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. We'll keep reading. At the same time, in the cool car, Fred woke up. He felt the warm air outside and liked the way it felt. Right before Kara's mom closed the door again, he slipped outside. Kara's mother did not notice. Neither did Kara nor her dad. Kara's mother took photos of pipe organ cactuses. Kara and her father strolled around. On the other side of the car, Fred stretched. The hot sun felt good. Suddenly, a kangaroo rat dashed right in front of Fred and ran into the brush. Fred did not know what kind of rat it was but he was sure it was the kind that needed to be chased. So he chased it. Just when Fred thought he might catch the rat, it disappeared into a hole in the ground. Fred peered into the hole. The rat was gone. Okay, so a bunch of things happened in these paragraphs. So why don't you take a couple minutes and highlight what you feel is important in paragraphs six, seven, and eight. Pause the video. All right, so we learned that um, Fred woke up, right? So maybe we should highlight that. And he feels the warm air outside. And what does he do? He slips outside and they don't notice. So it says Kara's mother didn't notice, neither did Kara, nor her dad. So then they're busy taking pictures, but what is Fred doing? Fred's like, oh, this sun feels good. He chases a rat, right? So he starts chasing the kangaroo rat. Maybe you highlight that. Maybe you highlighted that part, right? You can talk about, you can highlight that her mom is taking pictures and Kara and her dad are wandering around. Maybe the hot sun felt good because we're in the desert. Feels good for a little while. Have you ever gone outside from being somewhere cold, like an air conditioning car, or I know we keep our house pretty cold. And so when I go out into the sun, it feels so good for a little bit, but then I get pretty hot and I want to come back in. So then in paragraph eight, Fred tries to chase the rat and it disappears into a hole. So maybe we highlight that. And it says it disappears into the ground. Fred peered in the hole and the rat was gone. Hmm. All right, two more paragraphs to read and then we're gonna write our story events. So paragraphs 9 and 10. Here we go. Fred looked around. He did not see the car. He did not see Kara or her parents. He saw a lot of brown earth. He saw many cactuses and very little grass. He saw the blue sky. He did not see much else. Fred felt the heat on his back and on his paws, too. The ground was so hot. The heat no longer felt good. Fred heard three car doors slam. He ran toward the sound. Fred got to the road 
and saw the car leaving without him. His family must have thought he was still inside. Okay, what happened to poor Fred? He looks around and he doesn't see the car. Oh no. Okay, pause the video and highlight what you feel is important in paragraphs 9 and 10. Okay, so Fred looks around. He did not see the car. He did not see Kara or her parents. He saw a lot of brown earth. He saw cactuses and very little grass. He saw the blue sky, but not much else, right? Okay, then what starts to happen? You spend a lot of time out in the sun and you start to feel hot, right? So the ground was hot, the heat no longer felt good. He ran towards the car doors when he heard them slam, but his family left without him. Oh no, what is gonna happen to poor Fred? Okay, you'll have to wait to find out. So you can put your highlighters down and grab your pencils. We are going to write four story events. So go ahead and turn back to page 30. Make sure you have that handy dandy pencil. All right, so we're gonna write story event one for the colon. And so this is for paragraphs one through three. And if you look back at your highlights, you're going to find and remember that Kara and her family are visiting the Sonoran Desert and who is sleeping in the car? Fred, their family cat. So that's what we're basically going to write. So Kara, not Karen, Kara and her family are visiting the Sonoran Desert. Now, both Sonoran and Desert are capitalized. It's part of its name. While their cat. Fred naps in the car. Let me fix that a little bit for you. Whoa. Okay, so story event one. Karen and her family are visiting the Snoring Desert while their cat, Fred, naps in the car. If you need to pause the video and catch up to finish that, you may do that. Otherwise, we will move on to story event number two. Okay, so write story event number two. And so here is where, if you look back at paragraph four, here's where Kara and her parents start getting out and looking around, right? And not only do they get out and look around, but who sneaks out as well? Fred, right? So that's basically what we're going to write for this one. So Kara and her parents leave the car to see the cactus flowers because that's what they were there to see in the first place. And don't see Fred slip out into the, should we say, hot desert? Perfect. Okay. So go ahead, if you need to pause the video to finish typing that or to writing that, you may. When you are ready, we'll go to page 32.
So for story event number three with a colon, this is for paragraph seven and eight. So Fred finds a friend, right? He finds and has some fun chasing a kangaroo rat until it disappears, right? So Fred, Chases a kangaroo rat into its hole. That was a short one, huh? All right. And number four, you're going to do this one on your own. So you're going to start by writing story event four. And I want you to look at paragraphs nine and 10. And I want you to write one sentence about what happens. So go back, look at your highlights. We know that Fred is in the desert and we know that it's starting to feel hot. And we know that he, his family, left without him. So right now, write story event number four. Then you're going to go onto Canvas and you are going to record yourself reading story event four, or you can type it if you'd rather send it to me that way. Tomorrow we will finish reading this story called Lost in the Desert and we'll see what happens to poor little Fred. Great job today, friends. We'll see you later.